Hello everyone, I'm back. That's right, you thought I'd never return. What I have today is um, a number of things. I've got um, a new plant, a moss pole, and I've got heroin mix. Can you guess what we're doing today? We'll make, probably already put this in the thumbnail and title. But that's right, you're correct. We are um, uh, putting this plant on a moss pole. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have moved my camera at a lower level just so you can see everything. If you wanna know what this is, this is my bearded dragon's tail. Pixel, you wanna say hello? Oh, she's right there. Anyway, so I'm just gonna, I've, I got, I have this tray that I keep. It's like my repotting tray. It is a tray that is, dirt has been dumped on. Pixel, you might need to move. You might need to move over here. There you go. Anyway, um, I have dumped dirt on it, but it has all the, um, um, you know, ingredient ingredients we need for a, for like, just, it's got, and like, I'm gonna use some of this soil for the plants, so we're gonna do that. Let's get started. This one is not a bad moss pole, has been used, but I just feel like I wanna use a fresh moss pole for this one. Uh, the plant that was on here did die and everything, so it's just like, that's not a problem, nothing's wrong with it. I just want to use a fresh moss pole, if you know what I mean. Before you put a plant on a moss pole, what you should ideally do is just set it somewhere in your room where you think you'll keep it for about a week, maybe a week. That's what I did. Maybe I did about five or six days, it wasn't really a week. but. That's just to get it used to the conditions because you don't want to bring it home, have it um, get used to or unused to the conditions and then straight away put it in new soil, new everything because the plant's going to have too much of a shock. Now I have done that. Um, it's not really like guaranteed that something bad's going to happen. It's just not ideal, you know. Um, it's not ideal. Anyway, so what we are going to do is we are going to... I want another tray, because I love the soil that this comes in. There you go. That soil is moist. I don't want to rip this new leaf that's popping up. It's a pretty leaf. Did I even mention what kind of plant this is? I probably did, but I'll say it again. It's a philodendron. Uh, I pronounce it gigas. There's, to me, there's no right or wrong way to pronounce it. Some people say Gygus, some say, what else do they say? There's, I know there's another one. Um, I say it's Gigas, so I'm gonna say Gigas. When I bought it, he said this was like a cutting from a mother plant, and he showed me the mother plant. That was a beautiful thing. So, he said the mother plant was healthy. He thinks this one's gonna be healthy. Let's hope for the best. Philodendron, no. so the, the it's kind of in the name Gigas, which is like gigantic, you know, gig gig, you know, like giga giga, kind of in the name. Like it, it just screams that it's supposed to be a big plant, and boy do they get big in the wild. They can reach up to sixty feet tall, and their leaves can get three to four feet, like that. Like that is impressive. So, um, it may not reach that size indoors, but let's hope, okay? And maybe someday I might even live in the tropics. Hopefully it's still alive and I can bring it with me and then I'll put it outside or something and it grows into a giant. I found a pot that probably, I mean, it's not the high, the tallest pot, but I think it'll do. There's sand in it. Anyway, um, so the reason why you want, um, chunky soil in the pot with a moss pole, only with moss pole, is because the moss pole dries out very quickly. And the pot does not, because there's so much airflow hitting the moss pole that it dries out so fast, whereas the pot is surrounded 360 with a shield to protect it from drying out. 
And so when you have this soil in there, it stays wet far longer than a moss pole. When you have this in here, it drains and dries much quicker around the same speed as the pole. What we're gonna do is we always start, also for you clean people, yes, I do vacuum and I will vacuum. We're gonna start by just loading up the bottom of the, it's perfect height, bottom of the pole, I leave like about three or four inches of it open and we're gonna fill it with uh, there's all uh, the, uh, with the air mix. There's also little bits of Lekka clay balls in there. Um, that's not mandatory at all. Like you don't need that at all. Um, I, I I just put some in there because I had some. You know, I had some. And so now, this basically what I do is I take my pot and I'm gonna vacuum after this. I really need to. <laughs> Uh, this is making me cringe as much as it's probably making you cringe. Basically, you take that, you go like that, and I usually, what I usually do is keep it to one side. I can't do that because it's got like a divot that sticks up in the pot, so it's got to be in the middle. That's totally fine. Now what I usually do is just grab a little bit, fill up the bottom, and you want there to be air pockets in the soil, but you don't want them to be that big. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just fill it up. I might, is that, that might be too much. I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. Now you put your plant. Now this is where I got to decide which direction do I want it to face. I don't want it to face this way. And the way the leaves are, I think it'd look best this way. So I'm just going to pop all the roots in there. There you go. And now what I I like doing is grabbing like a like a like one of these, one of these right here. That's why I have a tray for them. One of these, and I just kind of fold it into a nice little pin shape to really make sure and you don't want it to choke the plant or cut the plant so you want it to kind of be like this and you just loosely without damaging anything without damaging the brand new leaf that just started to unfurl you just put it up there like that take it not too tight just so it's stabilized that way you can fill it up and assess what you've got and do all the stuff fill it up with more um more more soil more aeroid mix what i like to do is feel in the pot feel for any big air pockets because those air pockets don't have any soil and they'll dry those roots right up. Those roots will dry right in there. I don't feel too many, other than not even that big, but just one here. And so what I like to do is gently shove, like make a little hole, find that pocket, and fill it up with the, with the mix. <clears throat> make sure you get some of the cocoa chips, because those are more water retentive than perlite, obviously. And you just want to fill it up, grow up this pole, and when it reaches the top of the pole, what you do is you just, using zip ties, cable ties, you just add another pole on that one. When it reaches the height of your ceiling, you chop it off. I can make a video about this when mine actually does. Chop it off and do whatever you want with the bottom half and then re-extend the top half. And yeah, basically that is how I put my plants on a moss pole. So have fun, hopefully your plants thrive, try this out for yourself and maybe you'll enjoy it.